The right to bear arms, a constitutional right or not. U.S. Supreme Court considering this important question. Is it a right? Isn't a right? Well, let's take a quick look at the U.S. history so you understand where this is all coming from. The U.S. Constitution was passed to deal with what government could and couldn't do. It is not about what your neighbor can do regarding your conduct or anything else other than the relationship between American citizens, U.S. citizens, and the federal government. Before the Civil War, it was generally considered that the U.S. Constitution applied only to acts of the federal government, not to acts of the state. After the Civil War, there were post-Civil War amendments passed to the Constitution that applied the federal Constitution to the states and prohibited the states from the same kind of conduct that was prohibited by the federal government. As long as the rights that were protected were fundamental rights, fundamental rights. What are some examples of fundamental rights? Freedom of speech. Right to choose a religion of your own choice. Now, these various fundamental rights were defined on various cases that were decided since the 1860s. So now the question arises, what about the right to bear arms? There are those who argue that the right to bear arms is a fundamental right just like freedom of speech. On the other side of the coin, there are those who say, well, it has to do with a well-regulated militia. And it's basically needed to maintain an army. Because when the law was passed, when the constitutional amendment was passed, it was done in a time in history when we had essentially volunteer armies. And people would have their own guns and they'd go out and defend the states and the United States. Well, that's why people say that right is there. Others who say, no, it's pretty important that it transcends just maintaining a military. It is also for the purpose of individuals having a personal right of protection. Okay, so now the U.S. Supreme Court has to decide this very narrow question. Is the right to bear arms a fundamental right or is it a, what is often referred to as a prescribed right, a right that is limited, a right that's limited by that phrase in order to maintain a well-established militia? So this is the major question. And what's the U.S. Supreme Court going to do? Well, the major issue has to some extent already been decided on a case that arose a couple of years ago in the District of Columbia. There, there were various regulations dealing with guns. And the U.S. Supreme Court said, well, that's federal property. Constitution clearly applies. In this instance, we find that the right to bear arms is a fundamental right under the U.S. Constitution as applied to federal territory, District of Columbia, and therefore District of Columbia could not pass any rules that prevented the use of firearms and prohibited in any way the bearing of arms, owning arms. Many people looking at this say this very case, which arises in Chicago, will go the same way, and it's going to be found that this is a fundamental right that applies to everybody, including everybody and every town and state, and therefore every town and state will be prohibited from having any laws that prohibit the bearing of arms. Well, we're going to find out what happens. The reason I want to bring this to you today is so that you could understand these issues when this decision came down and know why the decision was made so you can better understand the law. I'm David Allen.